Do you know that every cell in your body is currently being healed? Watching this lovely and meaningful video will take you one step closer to finding your true love. Let's get this party started. If you could give your undivided attention to where you're going, if you could start playing the isn't it nice game or the won't it be nice game or isn't this a lovely thing or look at these positive aspects, if you could start training yourself to be more of a match to what you're putting into your vibrational escrow, you'd feel wonderful and your relationship would be morphing into that. But most of you don't do that. Instead, you create this because of your experience with that, but then you give most of your attention to that. So here's the best way of saying this. This person harassed you into expansion. And now this same person is the reason you're not taking your expansion. No wonder you're so mad at them. If they hadn't harassed you to grow. So you want to say to them, look, you made me grow. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to expand. I didn't want to become more. You harassed me into expansion. And now your ineffectiveness keeps me from taking my expansion. And that's why I'm extra, extra, extra mad at you. <laughs> Doesn't that define a lot of relationships you have? If it weren't for the contrast, you wouldn't have expanded. And if it weren't for the expansion, you wouldn't feel bad in not taking the expansion. And then, oh, the amazing things you concoct to try to explain it when there's really only one thing that explains it. You grew and you didn't go. Your inner being went that way and you stayed over here. And the funny thing about it, oh, it's funny to us, not to you. <laughs> the really interesting thing about it is the more you don't go, the more you ask and the more you ask, the more you grow and the more you grow, the more you don't go. And the more you don't go, the more you ask and the more you ask, the bigger the contrast feels and the bigger the contrast feels, then the more you rebel, the more you blame, the more you criticize, you might as well give it up because you can't stop expanding. You might as well just let go, let go of the struggle, let go of control, let go of trying to get others to be better so that you can feel better. Let go of all of those reasons that you don't feel good. Let go of all of the conversation about if you had done this differently, then I would feel better right now. Well, of course, if everyone held you as their only object of attention and their only goal was that you live happily ever after, we imagine your nest would be pretty feathered. But it's not going to happen. So give it up. All of you were born to feather your own nest. All of you were born to create a magnificent nest of creation and to move yourself into vibrational alignment with it. I could put my two cents worth in and be blessed or I could put my two cents worth in and be cursed. It could go either way. And we want you to realize that you are the creator of your reality and everyone else is too. And when you don't answer questions that haven't been asked and you do your best. Do you resonate with what we just said that the people who give you the most grief are your greatest co-creators and there will be a time when you've let go of the struggle and have allowed yourself to be who they helped you become that you can look back and say that really was good for me and I do appreciate that contrasting experience and what we want to submit to you is why not look back now in the midst of the contrast and try to feel that way a little more. So you could begin saying things such as, you're driving me crazy, but I know there's a pony in here somewhere. <laughs> you're driving me crazy and, and I know good will come from it. I can't imagine when I will see it, but I'm pretty sure something good will come from this. And anyway, thanks for the harassment. <laughs> or you could say, I suppose that you wouldn't be here bugging me if I were not vibrationally a match to you. <laughs> so apparently we deserve each other. <laughs> I can't imagine why I'm so much better than you are. <laughs> now you understand about law of attraction, don't you? You know that law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn. So if you're feeling something and you're having a relationship with anyone, whether it's a hotel, whether it's an airline, whether it's somebody that you used to like, whether it's someone that is in your experience every day, when you're having an experience with anyone, the experience that you're having is in your vibration. No one is doing anything to you. 
Your government can't do it to you. Your economy can't do it to you. Your spouse, your children, your parents, nobody is doing anything to you. You're doing it all to you because you're offering the vibration and you can change it. So we are eager to talk with you about anything that is important. We see our best advantage to you to help you to understand where you are in relationship to what's in your vibrational escrow. We'll help you to define what's over there and we'll give you every game we've got to coax you in the direction of it. But ultimately we want you to leave this gathering with a newly found feeling of self empowerment, the feeling that I not only can be the creator of my own reality, I not only am the creator of my own reality, but I want to be the creator of my own reality. If I see something and I feel bad when I see it, because the way we've been encouraging you is your inner being is seeing it differently than you are. So your inner being is not looking at it the way you are. And so that implies that your way must be wrong because your inner being's way is right. But remember what we were saying earlier, just before this important conversation, that with every experience you launch rockets of desire. So let's say that your inner being, all of your inner beings are having a reaction to someone who's in the public eye like that. And you are launching your rockets of desire. Your inner being is focused upon what you desire from it, not what is. Your guidance system, your negative emotion or your positive emotion is not sorting out for you the rightness or the wrongness of something or someone. Your emotion is just sorting out whether you're moving in the direction of what you want or not. And so when you see someone who is behaving in ways that upset your sense of right and wrong and you launch rockets of desires that you would prefer that it be different your inner being rides that rocket and sees the difference even though it's not evidenced by the behavior of the president so your only discord is that you keep seeing him as he is physically as you perceive him to be rather than as your inner being perceives him to be vibrationally so if i let go of my resistance to him i will not see a different version of him so if, if i let go of my resistance so I, if i become more in alignment as i look at him now but let's talk about what that means you can't look at what is and listen to what is and find a new vibration. You have to look in the direction that your inner being looks in order to find something. And so let's step back into a general place. One person does not mean that much to all of us. That's what your inner being knows. This person, no matter what title he holds in the world, does not create my reality. This person, no matter what he's doing, does not hold the key to my alignment with my inner being or not. This person and all of the shenanigans that some are witnessing and pushing against and others are witnessing and embracing. This person is causing lots of rockets of desires. I've launched some rockets of desires and my negative emotion in response to what I'm observing or in response to what I am hearing from someone else who is observing it is only indicating whether I am in alignment with my version of what I want or not period we would like you to know that the object of attention which seems so important and this particular person wants to be all important to all of you this particular person seeks your attention and your approval as much as any person who's ever walked the earth but that is a really big point for all of you you cannot let just because they want your attention it be your duty to give your attention to them Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. Make sure to subscribe for the next video.